What is going on YouTubers? This is Anam Shiraz and today we are going to be talking about one of the cool features that PubNub is providing and that's called presence. So as the word says presence, that means that uh, if anyone is in your channel right now then you want to know that who is it and uh, when he is going to leave or when he is going to join. So these kind of features the presence uh, provides us and uh, with the help of which uh, we can always keep track of uh, who is coming in and going out of the channel or who is uh, uh, losing the connections and getting timed out and all that stuff you know. So yeah so the first thing that uh, do we need to do is uh, uh, we need to create a free account in the PubNub and uh, to do that it's very really simple. So I've got my own account over here so you have to create one first. So initially as you will see in your dashboard uh, you will only be able to see one application that is demo project but of course you can create your new application as well. So with the demo project you will be given a publish and subscribe key and so now we're going to be replacing the demo publish key and subscribe key with this one into our code. okay so first of all I'm gonna set up the environment for Alice and uh, then I'll just simply copy and paste the code for the Bob so after you have copied and pasted the publish and subscribe key from your application the other thing that you need to do is uh, in your dashboard if you will go down you will see some features additional add-ons and uh, in that the first one you can see is presence so you need to turn on this presence by enable and save changes so you can see some basic options over here for the presence but uh, for now we won't gonna touch any of these so if you see in our subscription callback function it says awesome channel and execute uh, my subscribe callback function so in this function we have some different kind of incoming messages that we can expect to receive from the channel and the one is status that we are connected or disconnected or we are trying to reconnect you know all the stuff and uh, the other one is message that I talked about in my last video and the other one that we can see here is the presence so the messages like uh, someone has joined the room or someone is leaving the room you know all kind of messages will be coming over here so we're simply gonna write here print presence presence dot event and we also want to know that who is joining so presence dot uuid okay and so so once that done we also need to execute our subscribe callback function with presence so what we'll do is before the execute we will be writing with presence now what actually is happening behind this scene so the channel bit in which we are subscribed to right now this awesome channel so what happens is if we are calling the subscribe callback function with presence then at the back end there will be a separate channel that will be running alongside our channel and that will be named as awesome channel uh, dash p n p r e s so this will be the name of the presence channel in which all of the connected uh, devices will be sending their heartbeats to each other and uh, every every other user will be keeping track of the other users by checking the heartbeats and as the heartbeat stops coming so it will gonna time out and uh, all of the users will gonna know that some user has dropped the connection so we'll gonna just time him out and we'll gonna throw him out of the conversation you know okay so I guess we are good to go now so let's uh, copy this whole thing for Bob as well
okay so let's try to run this and uh, see what we have got So we can see that Bob is connected and in the presence we can see Bob has joined and uh, now we are ready to send some messages. And let's try for the LS, we will get the same thing. Yep, so LS is connected and LS has joined and now in the Bob console we will also see LS has joined. So that's good, like it's working now. So now we are going to add one small function over here that will be unsubscribe and let's fetch a code from the website for unsubscribe and that's this one so we'll make sure we are on the same channel okay and let's say if unsub in message unsub So now let's see when the user unsubscribes to the channel then how the other peoples will gonna know about that. Okay so now what is happening is so as I run the code for both of them Alice and Bob we cannot see the presence uh, of a joining event. That is because we did not close the connection last time properly. By did not closing the connection properly, I mean that no user unsubscribed to that channel. So they were still subscribed to that channel and uh, the heartbeat was still running at the back end with that presence channel. So, and it was not timed out. So that's why uh, no, you, Alice and Bob did not leave that channel. They were still on that channel. So we're gonna be looking at the timeout in just a second. For now, let's say I am unsubscribing to the channel. So now I have unsubscribed. So in the Alice, you will see presence Bob left. And we'll do the same for Alice, unsub. Now, of course, we can't see over here because uh, when we unsubscribe, the console stops automatically so yeah so right now both of them has left the channel now if you're gonna run that again we will be seeing the message of presence that Bob has joined and same goes for the Alice okay we are good to go now so now what we will do here is we will gonna change the timeout settings for the presence now as I explained to you before that when we close the connections unexpectedly without unsubscribing at the back end the heartbeat is still going through that presence channel so by default the timeout value for the presence is five minutes and we will gonna change that to let's say five seconds or something like that so let's see how we can do that so I could not find any stuff on the website for the custom timeouts but I did some work out by just digging down the configuration file and over here you can see some parameters for default default presence timeout and the heartbeat interval and let's see what we have got set presence timeout and it calls this function set presence timeout with custom intervals okay so that means we can call this function from our configuration file in the main code now what is happening over here is so it only takes the timeout argument and uh, the interval it is giving as timeout divided by 2 minus 1 so half value of the timeout minus one.
so that means if we are going to give 5 seconds as time out then what will be the interval of our heartbeat minus 1 so 1.5 seconds so after every 1.5 seconds uh, the heartbeat will be sent automatically to our presence channel so yeah so I guess that that that, that should do the trick so let's let's go for it so what I will do is config dot uh, I don't know what was that set presence timeout okay let's give it five seconds and let me gonna do the same for Bob okay so first let's unsubscribe both of the users unsubscribe now Alex had left now unsub for the Bob now let's do this from the start so Alex joined and Bob joined. Bob joined as well in the LS. Okay, so let's try to stop this process. Let's try to stop the Bob process and we'll see that after five seconds Alice will gonna see that Bob has left. Yep, that's good. So Bob has timed out. So the value of event is not leave, not join, but it will be time out. So after five seconds, as we can see, we have just timed out. And you know, in the JavaScript, what happens is like if you close the browser unexpectedly uh, without unsubscribing before, <coughs> then you're gonna see that after five minutes, other users will gonna receive a timeout message for that user. But if you set a custom timeout, then according to that, they will get the timeout values. So one important thing to know is that when you are reducing the timeout values, then you are increasing the rate of intervals for the heartbeat messages uh, between the network. So if you are uh, running the PubNub uh, SDK of Android and that PubNub application will gonna consume more memory of your uh, mobile phone and same goes for any IoT device. It will gonna consume more power. So that is the cost that you have to pay for like reducing the timeout values. So before signing off, I'm just going to go through one last feature that PubNub has provided in the presence is that here now. Here now function can be called any time between the execution of uh, a code and uh, by calling that function it will return you how many users are currently in that channel right now. So it also provides us the UUIDs of all of the users. So let's simply um, copy and paste this. giving our channel in that include UUIDs true and asynchronous here out callback function that is this one and we will see some of the print functions over here and let's try to run this and oh actually let's uh, call this function from here as if man l if who in message and we're gonna say here now callback function so let's try to run this code for Bob and okay so right now what we can see here is the hey now function has been called before and the Bob has joined after so for that reason the occupant on this channel is currently one because you the UUID is for the LS because LS code is already running so yeah so now if I will say who then we will gonna see two occupants in this uh, channel Bob and Alice. Oops, 
sorry I'm not calling this function in the right way so I need to say define who or let's say here now and I'll say here now and let's keep this function let's keep this send function in a while loop that should make sense so now let's try to run this and Alice Bob has joined and okay so we are good to go now let's see who is in the channel right now by simply typing who we can see we have two occupants one is Alice and one is Bob and yeah so yeah if you run the same code in the Alice then you're gonna see the same as well so I guess that's it for now I hope this video was helpful to you guys and uh, if it was don't forget to like share and subscribe because in the next part I will be introducing the PubNub access manager and why do we have to why do we need to use it and why it is important for your real-time applications. Thank you so much. See you guys next time.